Good afternoon, guys. Hey, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading with the nightly video update for Wednesday, March the 20th. And today we have Fed Day. And if you did not see, the Fed, of course, came out um, and remained, you know, rates unchanged and all that kind of stuff. I think the big concern was that the, the possibility of a rate hike or some... Um, hawkish language or so forth but they did not they came across very very dovish very accommodative uh, continue to be very accommodative as they have been and um, let's look at what happened so this is the S&P and here's where we opened in the morning and we kind of drifted lower 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 and typically on a Fed day you kind of get swings in both directions and that's exactly what happened we came down here to 2812 this is on the S&P and, uh, and then we started wet, working our way back up. This is the actual Fed announcement right there. It's at 1 o'clock at Central Time. And boom, rates unchanged. And then we kind of got going, going, going up here. And um, then we rolled over into the close. This was very bizarre because the Fed, um, they were very dovish. And this was the one chance I think they had if they had any bad news, um, I think this would have been the time to do it because the market has run up so much, uh, so fast that the market could absorb, you know, some bad news and come pull back a little bit and come down, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and it did not. So, or and they they did not have bad news. So, um, you know, all in all, a good day. Now, the kind of curious thing. Let me pull this over here. Um, is that on on the day we've got this is the Dow the Dow's down 141 points um, the S&P is down 13 the RUT is down 14 the only one that's positive on the day is NASDAQ NASDAQ went up you know and even this 23 points that's not a lot but uh, but we do have a divergence here of the NASDAQ being up which is a little a little uh, different uh, tech stocks were very strong after you know after the uh, Fed we had Google Netflix Amazon all of those you know racing higher and so forth um, but again we have more of a cloudy picture even than we did before so let me take this out on a little bit longer time frame here let's go 10 days back um, and again this is back to the S&P so we 27 22 and we were higher 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 all the way up to 28 52 and then kind of gave it back and this was you know that was the fed that's today the fed day so again what i had anticipated happening which did not happen on a dovish fed is that we come back up here to this 2850 2852 and you know, we, we got close right here, but I thought we would come up here and probably take these out and even go higher. That would have been bullish. This rollover into the close is kind of, hmm, well, you know, what, what do we do now? And let me back it out here on a little bit longer time frame. And we've talked about this before. If you've seen any of the videos that I've done, we keep looking at these different levels here. Uh, obviously, we, we continue to come all over this level 2800 2820 you know we're back here again back here again back here again so you know the again the bigger question is we did not clearly break through this we kind of came back down you know um, this way and actually went under this that white line is uh, what's called a snow line and um, so here's the thing that actually opens up the door to downside and that would be healthy for the market if we retraced you know back to this blue line that's a skyline retrace back here um, or retrace back here and got ready for the next run higher that appears um, like it's very possible I don't say probable but the dovish fed also to me says we go higher so we're 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 sitting right, I mean, literally on, on the 50-yard line with one leg on either side, right? Could go either way. The Fed should push us higher. The market is saying on a shorter time frame, 
nah, that's that's good. We're okay. We're gonna stick down here. So um, again, let me go back out here. That just kind of puts us in limbo land. So it is very tough here to take much size either direction. Um, you know, I can say this. Obviously, we've been rewarded for buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. If we do get a dip, obviously we'll buy it, you know, we'll just, we'll have to, we'll just buy it. Um, but I'm much less likely to buy here versus buying a, a meaningful dip, you know, and that would be down here to the, you know, 2,800 or lower 2,765, you know, back down here somewhere. I don't know yet. Uh, we won't know until we get there as we cross different levels, but, um, but anyway, again, so that, that really makes it tough, uh, for us to, to do much at all other than I'm, I'm still okay doing range bound trades and what I mean by that are trades within say a range of you know up to here 2871 there's a big that's our next real level of resistance overhead and this is our next uh, support on the downside and we are likely to just chop around here you know 2800 2830 and spend a little time there. So I'm okay doing things around there uh, with with kind of my eye on the 2870 down to the 2760 kind of range in the shorter term until we get a little more clarity. Um, but until then, I'm staying kind of light on size and, you know, and, and careful. So um, the one thing I would say, you know, I always try to try to give an idea or two, and I don't really have anything super solid right now. Um, I would like to buy Boeing if it would pull back a little bit, uh, Boeing, of course, has uh, has come down pretty good bit with you know with the airline uh, crash and so forth. But um, I would rather see it come down. There's a 200 day. I'd rather see it come down there or there, ideally to buy it off of that and put a stop loss under this level here. That would be ideal. I just don't know if we get the I don't know if we get that chance or not. So. Um, Anyway, that's really all I've got as far as I don't have anything specifically, you know, again, other setups um, because I, right now we're, we're kind of in limbo land. I want to see how the market opens and trades tomorrow and really for the next couple of days after the Fed meeting, let the market kind of digest what was said and, um, and see if we get momentum or more selling. Um, again, I would have liked to have seen a stronger close today after the Fed, but we did not get it. So kind of back to scratching our head going, well, now we wait. So with that, um, let me wind it up. Let's watch the next couple of days and see what we get. And um, we'll go from there. So I will see you guys at the ne next update. And um, good trading. Be nimble. And I'll see you soon. Thanks.